Good evening. Uh, my name is Joe Malik. I've lived in Naperville for over 20 years. My address is 843 Santa Maria Drive. Um, I'm here for a couple reasons. The first is to ask you about the money we were told we would save by having the smart meters installed. Um, recently, in several interviews, Mr. Kern has stated that the residents who take advantage of time of use billing will be able to shave a dollar off their bills. And if you sign up and let the city control your thermostat, you could save $2 a month. Um, so with calculations like that, um, if all 57,000 meters signed up for time of use billing and saved a dollar a month, 57,000 a month for 12 months is 684,000, which sounds great except that we paid 22 million for smart meters and that'll take us 32 years to recoup our initial investment and that's not including the interest we pay on the bonds um, the accompanying cost of maintenance and repair and upgrades that the smart meters need um, along with their obsolescence that happens in five to seven years so i'm asking again where is the money that we are supposed to be saving that we were told over and over again why this was so great for us, how much money we were going to save if it's a dollar a month. Mr. Mayor? Anybody? Uh, Doug Krieger? The, um, that is one component of the savings. Uh, obviously, it's, it's one of the smaller components. There are many uh, more significant uh, savings opportunities uh, like the uh, voltage regulation component. Um, and uh, with respect to implementation, um, in uh, uh, if we were to update uh, the original scenario and paybacks, uh, it, it's actually turning out to be slightly more profitable uh, based on the interest levels. Um, you know, obviously that's one component, but that's not the only one. Okay, you just said a lot of double talk that made no sense at all. How is it saving us, the residents, the people who paid for this, who you told was going to save us money, where is it going to save us more than a dollar or two dollars a month? Yes, Mayor. Go ahead. Cer certainly. Um, the, well, you know, I'll explain, uh, I'll explain the CBR process. And, and basically with uh, all of the points of readouts that we have out on the system, uh, we're able to lower the voltage uh, across the system and prevent our customers from having to pay for voltage, say at you know 122 volts, uh, when we can now supply it at basically 118 mm -hmm. volts. And so I think the I it, think it, hold it's on saving a second. the city money, not saving the residents who were told point of order to save us money. Is there something in council rules about being argumentative during uh, these public forums? I didn't think it was supposed to be a debate. You know, there is no other time for residents to address the city council and get answers to questions, ever. You never have open houses where we can talk to you. You never have anything where we can ask you questions and get answers in front of people. You don't answer emails. When we want answers to questions, we're told to FOIA it. Then you sit up here and tell us we're wasting taxpayer dollars by getting... I'm going to say it again, Your getting... Honor. Uh, I'll, let me ask the parliamentarian what the, comp what the rules are regarding... Um, these public sessions turn public input turning into debates well the chair has the authority to uh, maintain the decorum of the room and and control the conversation and we are not going to have any debates